Hi everyone, my name is Richard Cadeau. I'm a French actor, a novelist and a storyteller that can boost any kind of brands, including yours. I intend to prove you that with my own trilogy of stories that I have created. Three videos that will be published on YouTube. The first one is start after this introduction. The first one is called My History Roadmap. It's the way I branded myself through my life. And the second one is called Pedal to Mobility because I've chosen the business model of the limo or the limousine that was invented and used before the invention of the wheel and it soon will become a driverless car. Will that be friendly environment? That's another story. And my third story, which is the cream of the crop, or the Sunday on the top, or the, whatever you call it. It's about a script that I have written, or written, and it's just included in my book, Les Papillons d'Enfer, which was a French book, and it's, it's going to become now a script for a movie, Butterflies from Hell, that talks about the secret organization behind those black bow ties that exists for centuries as well and that manifest themselves very soon. They already manifest themselves a lot, but you'll find out everything in the last chapter. So please check the three chapters and I promise you that my story will boost <laughs> a hell of a brand, including yours. Is your brand worth a great story? Hell, hell, his hell, hope his forever. Hope, forever. Nowadays, first motivation of youth is to have a phone. I had my phone, but the first motivation of baby boomers was to have a car. When I was a little boy, my first greatest gift was a pedal car. That little car inspired me to take on every challenge to get a real car. And I mean every challenge. 16, I had my driver's license, a car, and a motorcycle. Yes, but I'm a dragon who wants to fly high. So I became a steward with balls, or more formally, a male flight attendant. In the 70s, being a flight attendant was a kick-ass first job, and aviation was thrilling. One third of the month was just enough to fully take advantage of my 90% discount to travel and render my services as a worldwide fashion trade commissioner. I quickly earned a reputation within the fur and fashion industry thanks to my NBA international company that provided me a license to build. That was my first master class. When I left the airline, I was traveling as a trader for the fur industry and there were little gift boxes bearing my name posted in the airport duty-free shops. The gift box presented genuine fur accessories for women. I created another classic accessory for men. It was a fur black diamond bow tie. That one was a hit. I had orders from New York, Paris, and London. I even got a design patent, and yet the million dollars bow tie was never delivered. Why? The timing wasn't in my favor, and the well-known French actress Brigitte Bardot the famous Bob Barker, The Price is Right, and other celebrities had started a crisis killing the fur industry. Yeah, but that didn't kill me. Few years later, China took over the global fashion industry with such a
crisis left me in ruins and they inspired me to write my first novel, Butterflies from Hell. My French book, Les Papillons d'Enfer, wasn't a bestseller yet. In fact, it was another masterclass. The life and action of the heroes of my book brought me their exuberance and fantasies ultimately to fall back on my feet, realizing that my destiny as a limo chauffeur would allow me to both serve and socialize with them again in the real world. Hmm, as a driver, the limo would be within my grasp. But before driving, I would have to penetrate the limo cartel, swallowing my pride as an investigator clown and a limo cleaner. Get this, no one knows more what goes on in the limo than the limo cleaner. I followed my path from cleaner to driver to dispatcher, manager, and again becoming a business consultant, a lawyer, and a trademark agent. Branding their companies, today the limo cartel still benefits from my knowledge. That's why I have established Cato Limo and Cato Co. Corp. Hey Santa, where's your sledge? Hey, hey, Santa, where's, where's, where's your sled, Santa? We have a lot of stuff to put in that gift, you know, and, and but I know your gift is, is emotion and, you know, it doesn't have to be wrapped in the box. But me, I like box because, because it's a, it's a, a gift. In French, it means cadeau. And for those who don't know, my name is Richard Cadeau. Gift. That means gift. That's why I'm wearing this funny bow just to highlight the cadeau that I am. And the story that I made for you, the three episode, is about Richard Cadeau and the million dollar bow tie that they created 20 years ago. So I won't go too much, but you just watched the first episode, which is the seed of the whole story. And the next episode is Pedal to Mobility, and the third one will be for Christmas. So stay tuned. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> We're gonna have fun. For sure. What inside that box? Oh, is it the million dollar bow tie? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I can tell. But the only thing I can tell is that you never find out if you don't watch. That's a fact. So stay tuned. Whoop, stay tuned. Whoop, stay tuned. <laughs> they don't call me the Joker for nothing, eh? <laughs>